Hello out there everybody. In this video uh, we're going to look at some of the settings uh, and the configurations set up for XAMPP. We've already got it installed and it's up and running. So let's go back to our control panel and you can see we've got several different configs. We can config Apache, MySQL, the app itself and let's just look through some of these to see what our options are. Um, editor default is notepad. We want to go ahead and find sublime text in here although it's not going to be under system 32 so you're going to want to go back to your program files sublime text 2 and tell it that's the one I want auto start of modules just tells you uh, if you click the XAMPP control panel do you want us to automatically start Apache and MySQL that just saves me a couple clicks sure start it minimize that's up to you uh, we're not using Tomcat so it doesn't really matter what we check here uh, we do want to leave the check default ports on start up and we can go ahead and hit save now the configuration for Apache works differently uh, there's not a little window that pops up if you click config right here you'll notice that it gives you a drop down of options and Apache um, is well let me just open it up and show you this is how you configure Apache. It's through these text files that can really overwhelm new web designers. So if you look at this and you immediately get scared, that's okay. I'll tell you up front, this is an extremely powerful file. You can make a grammatical error here and totally break your server. So you don't necessarily want to just play around in here. And we're not going to make any changes, but we do want to look at some things. Um, the way that these work is anytime a line doesn't start with this hash symbol, that line's being read. Uh, if I insert the hash, that's a comment. You might have, you know, you've seen HTML comments. Uh, that's is the same way, it's just a different syntax for these configuration files. So don't make any changes, but you can look through here and see that this is the way that Apache is configured, and it's very easy to change the configuration by commenting out lines or uncommenting lines. What I'm looking for is actually on line 242. I'm looking for where should I be storing or saving my HTML, CSS, JavaScript, image, whatever, my web files to use with XAMPP. And that's this line right here, document root, C drive, XAMPP, htdocs. Now if you're on a Mac or a Linux machine, or during the XAMPP install process, you changed where you were installing XAMPP, this will be different. But if you're on a Windows machine and you didn't, uh, you just followed the way that I did it, you didn't make any changes, this is the default C drive, XAMPP folder, htdocs. If we go look at that, C, XAMPP, htdocs, this is what's in here. There's, so there's some stuff already in here. This XAMPP folder is that Apache admin interface. Um, and then there's some other folders. But what we can do is we can actually create a new folder. Uh, you might just want to call it dev. And then inside dev, we can put whatever we want. This could be where our stuff really lives. I don't recommend just clearing this out because XAMPP does use a lot of these files. Uh, I recommend just creating the new folder, call it dev or something short and then you can start adding your own files. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I've got some of the files from the Bubble Under website that we're all familiar with, and I'll just copy and paste this. So I just moved them from somewhere deep on my hard drive. This is, could be your thumb drive, your desktop, where you are normally storing your website files. And I'm gonna paste them into this place, uh, C drive, XAMPP, htdocs, dev. What this does, as long as I've got my green here, my Apache is running, I can use XAMPP as a web server. I can go to my web browser, and if I type in localhost slash dev, I'm gonna get my bubble under website. This is a complete redirect. So localhost acts as my domain name, google.com, rappahannock.edu, the domain name for my development machine, my local computer, is called localhost. There's no .com or anything, it's just localhost. And then forward slash dev represents me going into this 
forward slash uh, this dev folder that I created. If I didn't add the slash dev, there's some code in here that would automatically put me into this XAMPP folder, but I could create different folders. Um, I can create folders within my dev uh, folder and whatnot. So what you could do is each project you have for this course or each web development project you want to do, uh, I would create a folder inside of the dev folder. So let's do that. I can go to new folder, bubble under, and then what I want to do is copy, actually not even copy, I want to move all of those into there. So now I'm not, my files aren't in dev, they're in bubble under. So if I refresh this, I completely broke it. It looks like this. If I go to slash dev slash bubble under, that's where I moved my files. So again, what we did is we looked uh, where Apache was telling us to store files, and that was here. I can close out of this httpd.conf file. Um, don't make changes. If you accidentally made a change, uh, unless you are comfortable and confident uh, with what you with the changes you made, I recommend hitting no and just exiting out of that. We went in there, found where Apache wanted us to store the files. We found out that it was in my C drive, uh, XAMPP, htdocs folder. I created a dev folder. And then for each of my projects, I create a folder in that. So as far as where things are living on my hard drive, they're buried pretty deep. But when I want to use them in the web browser, it's not too bad. Localhost, dev, and then whatever folder, whatever project I'm working on. Thanks for watching.